is a demo to show two things. Firstly, the HipChat integration by Metacert. And the second thing is the backend classification technology, how it interacts with HipChat, but also how it works more generally. So here you'll see the regular chat room. What I'm going to add here is a report URL button. So staff within this organization can flag and immediately see warnings for a URL that looks suspicious but not yet classified. So to install Metacert, it's extremely simple. So I'll go to the integrations page. It's not listed. Here's the live integration, but it doesn't have the added report URL functionality just yet. So I'll put in the URL. Click install. And I get three options. See warnings for malware and phishing, triple X, and also links that have been reported by other customers on HipChat because I'd like to benefit from the URLs that they think are suspicious. Click Add Integration and it's done. That's how easy it is. So if I go back to the chat room, there's the Report URL button. Before I show you that, I want to demonstrate the actual security that's built in. As you can see, Twitter.com doesn't show anything. So Metacert works in the back end, it's in the background, and so it looks silent to users. They don't even know it's there until somebody posts a dangerous URL or a URL that's deemed inappropriate. And as you can see, the message is specific to the category type. And if I think it's a false positive, I can dispute it. On the report URL, if I see something that looks suspicious, but has never been classified, because it could be a spear phishing website that's just been created, there's no warning, but I can report that because it looks dodgy and immediately have a warning sent to the room. So here it's classified on the back end and a warning has gone to the room to tell everybody it's just been classified. On the back end at Metacert, as you can see when I do a search, it's classified as spear phishing. But if after investigating I, we think it's actually not spear phishing or malicious, we can change the category either to not malicious or choose a very specific category for it. As you can see, there's no warning message. I'm going to try to submit it again. It comes up that it's categorized as miscellaneous. If after investigating we think everybody should benefit because it is actually malicious, the next time it's posted again, in real time the API works, and there's the warning message. And again, it tells me that the classification is malware and phishing. Now, here's real magic on the back-end classification platform. If I type in imgur.com, for example, it's not classified as either of the categories that I'm concerned about. If, however, I type in a URL inside this folder right here, this is categorized as triple X. There could be other folders inside or subfolders that are not malicious or adult content. And so you don't want to classify the entire domain or even that entire folder. But everything in this folder is triple X. So no matter what this URL is, it's going to return the fact that it's been classified as pornography. Now being able to do that means that we capture potentially millions of URLs that nobody else can capture across websites like Dailymotion, Twitter, Facebook, Imgur, Flickr, and so on. Websites where you may want to classify entire folders, tags, search queries, or just the URLs. So thereby potentially collecting a lot more URLs than anybody else.